This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Today I'm making a naturally green sweet pea microwave sponge cake. To start, you'll need 275 grams of fresh or frozen peas. Blanch them in boiling water for one to two minutes, then strain. Transfer the peas into a bowl and use a hand blender to blitz until smooth. If you have a food processor or a better blender, feel free to use that instead as you'll probably get better, smoother results. Once the peas are smooth, set aside. For the rest of the cake, start by melting 200 grams of butter. Pour that into a bowl and add in 150 grams of sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla, then whisk to combine. To that, add three whole eggs. And whisk again. Then, whisk in the pea puree. In a separate bowl, measure in 250 grams of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Stir this together, then add to the wet ingredients and mix until smooth and combined. To microwave, Coat the inside of a disposable coffee cup with non-stick spray. Stab a few holes into the bottom of the cup, fill it halfway with the batter. Then microwave for one to two minutes. The timing depends on your microwave, so consider your first cup of batter a bit of a test run. Once cooked, place the cup upside down on a plate for a couple of minutes to set. Then remove the cup, tear up the cake, and serve. This recipe doesn't require a whipping siphon and would be too thick to use one anyway, but because of this, the finished microwave sponge isn't as aerated. Also, the thing about microwave cakes in general, I know they're cool and it's a neat technique, but I've never had one that tastes as good as traditional cake. It's always a bit eggy tasting and it dries out really fast, so I tend not to do them for service at all anymore. Instead, I just use the same batter, though instead of melting the butter, I usually just cream it with sugar and bake it at 325 Fahrenheit or 160 Celsius for about 35 minutes. While the color isn't quite as vibrant as the microwave sponge and it takes a little longer, the flavor is much better. While that's baking, I just wanted to take a minute to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions of like-minded creatives. With such a hugely supportive community, it's great to be able to tap into the support of fellow creatives who provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The class I watched most recently is called Real Productivity, Create Your Ideal Week. Michael Karnjanapakoran, the CEO and co-founder of Skillshare, gives his rules for maximizing productivity, crafting an ideal work week, and building short-term systems for long-term success. I've spoken a bit about this before, but as a more creative person, I sometimes struggle with scheduling my time effectively, so I found this class really helpful. Whether you're interested in learning to manage your time better, writing, art, design, wellness, or productivity, there are thousands of classes on a range of different subjects available on Skillshare. If you're interested, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get two free months of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. If you want to serve the baked cake the same way as the microwave sponge, just cut off the edges before tearing the cake into small pieces. This cake is great served with the light Italian or French buttercream, goes really well with anything flavored with vanilla, and is amazing served with ice cream.
if you like this video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing and feel free to connect with me on Instagram at chefstudio underscore.